So we've been doing a lot of snorkeling and uh, day before yesterday, I noticed that I was having a hard time hearing in this ear um, and yesterday and continuing into today, I am damn near stone deaf in my left ear. Um, and I've been trying to flush it from the outside to see if it was something on the outside that got stuck. I've been trying to like pressurize my nose and depressurize it to see if I can clear, if it's a eustachian tube that's plugged in. I, I really can't tell, but this ear, um, if I'm, if I plug this ear, I'm almost, it's like I'm wearing a complete set of earplugs. So today's Sunday, so I don't know if there's any chance that I'll find a doctor that can take a look at it today. But uh, if not, then I think I'll try and get into one tomorrow. I like to start each day right with three slices of delicious vitamin packed French toast covered with uh, organic grass fed syrup and a mug of tea. So nothing I've done has made my ear better. It started hurting so I'm walking trying to find a clinic. Okay, so I found a clinic. I came in, found a very nice young girl who told me, yeah, they'll get me taken care of. So. Up. So unfortunately, they weren't able to help me, uh, not because they were unwilling, but because um, this is like a little clinic. So she's like maybe a, like kind of a nurse, but she was able to look in there and see that I don't have anything on the outside of my tympanic membrane. So I've got water on the inside of it. Um, so she says at this point, they can't verify that I haven't ruptured my uh, eardrum. So I need to go in and see a doctor at a more like a hospital so I was just hoping it was earwax but it was not but uh, by the way I, I tried to give her money and uh, no charge uh, she wouldn't let me pay anything so pretty awesome little neighborhood clinic give you a good sound medical advice give you a look over and send you on your right way my problem was graduated to need found a place and we're like a doctor's office. Hola. Okay, so I'm gonna get a shot in my backside. So this is, uh, that was a cortisone shot and that should help in conjunction with uh, some cold pills and some ear drops, so we gotta try. And of course, after getting drops in the ear, shot in the ass, nothing better than a fresh orange juice to make it all go away. <laughs> so we are enjoying Barra Navidad. It's the other side, just outside of the uh, See, I'm still working on my ear problem, but uh, beautiful, picturesque piece of Mexico. You know, it's, it's nice. It's not a really aggressive tourist trafficking, but they've definitely got plenty of t-shirts and knickknacks if uh, you're in the market. But uh, they also have some delicious panaderias, bread stores, where they put chocolate inside, croissants, as God intended. So I'm back at the doctor again. Uh, a couple days later, ear is no better. Um, you know, and this is the point where you do want to be the squeaky wheel, like you have to be your own advocate and at Mexico just that much more so. So I'm back and uh, she was going to start me on amoxicillin, but I've asked to do an injection of like a rocephin or something a little stronger. So here we go. Okay, so after having my ear problem for almost two solid weeks, um, I did a shot of a steroid. I did a shot of an antibiotic. I took amoxicillin. I took cold pills every night. I used ear drops four times a day. Um, it did eventually resolve itself before we got to Manzanillo, which is where the closest ENT was. Um, you know, and I, I don't know. Inner ear problems seem to kind of plague me with 
uh, diving and snorkeling. So maybe that's just unfortunately my cross to bear. But I, I did just want to say that I received excellent medical care for, for what they were, which is just small offices. So if, if you're in Mexico and you, you, know, you get sick, a lot of the pharmacies will actually have a doctor attached to them. So maybe an office right next to them or somewhere they're close. Most pharmacies at least can direct you to where a doctor is. The bigger the town is, the more specialties they're gonna have. But um, don't, don't feel like that's something that you should just go without treatment for while you're in Mexico. I, I, I was very happy, the prices were amazing. So I ended up paying about $60 per visit each one included an injection of something and several pills or medicines one way or another. So I, I never felt like, I certainly didn't feel like I got ripped off. I felt like I got tremendous value for the care that I received. And, uh, you know, uh, again, if I have any issues going forward, I have full confidence in, in going back to uh, similar places. So keep traveling. Shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top Leave a legacy If I got something to say You better let me speak Turn it up a new degree Bitch you ain't seen anything